For the 12th time, one of the largest helicopter air shows in Europe took place this year in Hereditz Kralove. And this time it was even bigger than before. Compared to previous years, the air show this year was a truly international event reflected in the change of name to the European helicopter show. The DSA company joined forces with the World Aviation Event Company a renowned British company involved in organising aviation exhibitions to prepare this year's three-day air show. The air show schedule was changed this year with the first two days intended for industry professionals and business and the third and final day taking place as an air show for the 20,000 spectators. According to Tomasz Suchanek, a general director of the DSA company, it is brilliant that an exhibition of a truly European dimension was organized so successfully. Oni jsme usilovali 11 let. Minulý rok jsme zkoušeli svoji schopnost, kam to dotáhneme a tam jsme se rozhodli, že to už přerůstá přes naše možnosti. Spojili jsme se s vystavovatelem z Londýna, který to dělá profesionálně s AV Bayer a výsledek vidíte. Já myslím, že to povedlo. Vystavovatelů je 77 a pro mě nejzajímavější je to, že jsem si obešel a jsou spokojený. Já vím sám, když jsem vystavoval v Příbrami nebo někde na výstavě, tak když nejsem spokojený s tou úrovní služby, že z úrovní klientů, kteří mě přijdou navštívit, tak si myslím, že ty peníze byly jako vyhozeny oknem a oni si to nemyslí. Čili já mám od 60%, od 70%, když se jich ptám, tak příští rok potvrdí svoji účast. I have to say it's a very exciting time for European helicopter show. We have a solid foundation here. It's something now that we have possibilities to increase and large. We know we can improve a lot of things and um, I'd say because our uh, background is mostly fixed wing shows and DSA who have great knowledge in the uh, helicopter industry it would be a idea to maybe see uh, seeing how we can combine both of these industries together. If you look around you have exhibitors from America, from France, even from far away as India, from Germany, from Austria. Uh, I think we must say it is successful in getting the interest within the helicopter industry. The big names always have to be the manufacturers and we are proud to say that we have over there Augusta Westland, we have Bell, we have Eurocopter and we have MD Helicopter on the larger production fund here. But we also have, and we are very proud of that, on the lighter helicopter front, people like uh, Pharma from Italy and the gyrocopter people here. The European Helicopter Show was host to many major names in the aviation industry, such as the Bell Helicopter Company, showing visitors the luxury version of their Bell 429 helicopter, as well as additional avionic technology the company has to offer. Uh, we've been here already last year, and I have to say that this show definitely got bigger than it used to be uh, the year ago. Uh, it got more prospect, more industry cooperation. We had a lot of partners, a lot of suppliers, as well as a lot of potential clients who came to us and we've discussed the options for the future success and growth. So it was a good show for us. Eurocopter, represented by the Czech LD Aviation Prague company, was another major exhibitor. It didn't have to transport its flagship product for airborne rescue services, the EC-135, to Hradec Králové, because there are plenty of these aircraft belonging to other private owners in the ground-based static display. Je obvykle kupovan soukromníky pro létání, pro zábavu a pro rekreační rekreační účely. Ta propagace helikopterového létání se děje právě prostřednictvím výstav, kde návštěvníci mají nejlepší možnost se k těm produktům přiblížit seznámit se s něma a po případě se třeba i svést. The British Italian company Augusta Westland also attended, displaying its best single engine helicopters at its stand. This is the first uh, Augusta Westland, it's a Koala 119 KE, first helicopter in Czech Republic, so we had the chance to, to bring here a real helicopter, also the, the K2 coming from Slovakia, the EMS version, so why not to be here with two helicopters? Another major brand, McDonnell Douglas, also presented an extremely interesting aircraft. While other helicopters use either classic tail rotors, a balance rotor or a fenestron, the MD520N helicopter is unique due to its use of NOTAR technology. 
the result of which is that it has no rapidly moving components at its tail. Je to bezpečnější, když vletíte do lesa, tak nezničíte nutně helikoptéru a je to i těžší. A no, je to zkrátka helikoptéra, která je výjimečná, je to patentovaný, patentovaný systém MD Helicopters. Je to, je to výjimečná a je to mimochodem teda v tento moment jediná helikoptéra od značky MD v České republice. But the show was also attended by other companies in the aviation industry, including major helicopter manufacturers and brands displaying their products and services, including technologies for improved helicopter navigation and other helicopter related services. Visitors were also interested in the rapidly developing branch of gyroplanes or auto gyros, which form an industry segment somewhere between airplanes and helicopters. Gyroplanes have a main rotor which is free-spinning during flight and turns by auto-rotation, with forward thrust coming from a rear-facing propeller. One of the largest exhibitors of gyroplanes at the European Helicopter Show was the Nirvana Systems Company, which is the Czech and Slovak agent for the German manufacturer Autogiro. It presented Kalidus two-seater gyroplanes where the crew sit in tandem and also the MTO Sport model, which has a similar seating arrangement, but also has an open cabin. Visitors could also see the luxury Cavalon, which has side-by-side -side seating. Cellier Aviation, which displayed its flagship product, the Zenon, was another exhibitor, along with Aviation Artur Trendark Slovakia Helicompress, with its Zen gyroplanes. A series of seminars and presentations of companies in the field of aviation and demonstrations of interesting technology were another important aspect of the event. Innovations in the field of head-up displays, presented by the Saab company, trends in helicopter financing and leasing, presented by the IBA company, and demonstrations of the advantages of the European EGNOS satellite navigation system and its cooperation with the Garmin avionics manufacturer are also worth mentioning. Visitors to the seminars were very interested in the accounts and photographs by aviation photographer Glenn Grossman, as well as the experiences of Doug Abney, a former Los Angeles police force pilot, and of the Austrian Mountain Rescue Service. Business transactions were also carried out at the European Helicopter Show with helicopter sellers and manufacturers concluding contracts to the value of roughly a billion Czech crowns, clients of which included the rescue services and police forces. The international importance of the event meant that the European Helicopter Show was attended by guests representing countries from all over the world. We see the opportunity to integrate a lot of these systems into our uh, systems in India. We also have here an Indian company, Ramco, which is into aircraft and helicopter maintenance. And uh, we see opportunities for avionics systems, for uh, the electronic systems in the aircraft, as well as the aircraft itself and the helicopters themselves, for uh, a variety of applications, both for civilian uh, company use, business use, and for uh, search and rescue, for uh, emergencies, and of course also for the defense forces. This year's 12th annual helicopter show was a success for both exhibitors and organizers. The first two days with a professional program and exhibition succeeded in truly convincing businessmen in the aviation industry that it will certainly be worth visiting the European helicopter show in Hereditz Kralova next year.